Well, today we are going to try to catch some crappie in one of the creeks that feeds Lake Texoma. And it is winter time. In fact, it's February 14th. Valentine's Day, as a matter of fact. And nothing says I love you, fellas, like bringing your wife home a nice, fresh mess of crappie fillets. You're welcome. Now, most people don't think about creek fishing for crappie in the wintertime. And the lake temperature is still quite low right now. It's about 43 degrees in Lake Texoma. And crappie usually don't spawn here in Oklahoma, meaning run up the creek to reproduce until the water temperature is in the mid to upper 50s. But a lot of times crappie will find a hole in the creek where it's got plenty of depth and most importantly lots of bait fish where they'll basically congregate or stage waiting for the conditions to be optimal for that reproductive run up the creek. And so it's a good time while they're in there feeding and getting their fat and energy reserves built up to, to catch a few and that's what we're going to try to do today. Now I'll be the first to admit that I'm a cat fisherman by trade. Used to 11 foot surf rods and four ounce bell sinkers and 30 pound test line so I probably lack the finesse to be a, a good crappie fisherman. I'm certainly no expert but willing to give it my best shot today. Everybody enjoys catching crappie and particularly eating them and I'm no exception to that rule. Top secret. All right, got a fish on the string. Hopefully he doesn't tell his buddies what happened. Hey Dave, you want one of these? I'm gonna try a little bit longer. If you catch another one, I might get interested. Okay. Yeah, any of the lakes here in Oklahoma, in fact, the vast majority of them do hold crappie. And all crappie will, of course, spawn in the spring. And if there are creeks, which there are in 99% of the cases that feed these lakes, or even rivers, they will go up the river or creek a certain distance till they find a suitable place to stage. And like I said, that usually entails having deep enough water where they won't freeze out because it is still winter time. But most importantly, having lots of bait fish like little shad and minnows that they can feed on and really fatten up because it's an energy exhaustive trip to reproduce and make that next generation of crappie. So they're, they're not moving a whole lot at that point. Now, of course, there are crappie that still stay in the lake and they'll spawn along rocks and so forth. But those that do like to run up the creeks, you can often find them in holes that have some depth and have some prey fish in the dead of winter time. What'd you catch that one on, Zach? Just dark color. Yeah. Curly. Yeah. That first one was on the other kind. You got it, Dave. Little crappie. Yeah, that's big enough to eat. Nice one. That was a dark one too. It only took 250 throws, but we got him. You, uh, I made my own original stringer here, Todd. If you've ever seen one like it or not. I cut the uh, eyelet off the bottom. You know, if you get a, not that I'm gonna have trouble with it today, but if you get a lot of fish, you gotta take them off one by one, you know. And I just took a little piece of half inch pipe, light walled pipe, and drilled three holes in it. And then uh, wrapped my stringer through there three times and back over itself on the bottom. And when you get ready to take them off, all you have to do is unlatch your stringer, take your pipe off, and they all slide right off the stringer. So. Well, that was fun. I'm going old school today. As you can see, I've got my 1970s model Zebco 606 spooled with 12 pound test line because that's the lightest I had at home. I've got an old medium light two piece rod here but it kept flying apart on me so I put a little JB weld on there, problem solved. And that'll probably be why I won't catch a fish today but I'm gonna give it a try. Gonna be using an eighth ounce jig head there. This one's kind of a green and yellow, chartreuse and yellow. I've got a little grab bag. I'm gonna start with a dark jig body, 
try it first. And let's see what I have here. I think I'm gonna try one of these uh, dark colored, tri-colored swirl tails. It's about a two inch uh, twirl tail grub basically. And it's got a, a brown and a light purple body and a chartreuse tail. So that'll be the first thing I try. And we've got lots of other colors and supplies we can try if that doesn't work. And crappie are finicky, so it may take a while to get honed in on them. That's not a slab, I don't know what it is. Hold that thing up here. Oh, I'm just... cool. Some people fish their whole life for a slab like that, Zach. Or five minutes. Quality, not quantity. I'm not Bill dancing him, he's a nice crappie. <laughs> How's that for a save of the day? Came off at the bank. All's well that ends well. That's a that's a nice slab crappie right there. We'll take him. But they're in here. They just haven't been turned on to the bite. But just the last five minutes, we've caught two nice ones, and that's crappie for you, finicky. They're liable to come on when you least expect it, so you have to stay with it and change up your gear and your jigs quite a bit just to find out what they're after. And right now, they're hitting dark colored curly tail jigs. So let's see if we can catch another one. Is that Pomoxis annularis? Is that right? Pomoxis annularis. Scientific name. Now, white crappie, they have, if I'm not mistaken, five to six of those spiny, dorsal spines, the ones that stick you. And a black crappie have seven or eight. That's how you tell them apart. And these have the, the vertical banding there with kind of some green blotches. But most of what you'll catch is white crappie. But there are black crappie around too, and it'd be nice to get into one of those as well. Better string him up. He almost got away once. I'm not There's one. White curly tail coming through. Yeah, that's a beauty. <clears throat> Back to white now, Zach. Back to white? Yeah, it was pure white. Yeah, but not much, not getting aggressive at all. That's a wrap. Well, we didn't slay them, but Got enough for supper, didn't we? Yep. I'm satisfied. A few good eating sized fish. 